everyone it's amanda or mandarin and welcome back to my channel as you can tell you might notice something is different in my last video or no two videos ago i did mention that i was going to be going to cosmetology school and you might notice i have different colored hair already yes i'm a blondie and it was a hell of a process i honestly wish that i would have recorded and filmed how i went from jet black hair to pretty light blonde i'm not quite where i want to be yet but i'm really um i keep looking in the viewfinder i'm sorry you guys i haven't filmed in forever i don't know what i'm doing anymore so as you guys might know today i'm going to be filming a, a wig review video but i feel like you guys really did um enjoy my first wig video and i am back with another one i told you guys i'd let you know if i got any more and i got another one so this wig is from the brand Bala Bala Hair, I believe is how you say it. I will have it up on the screen so you can see exactly what the name of the brand of the wig is. Um, and it did come from China, so it took quite a while to get here. Um, and I want to kind of unbox it with you guys because I think that's super exciting to see exactly um, what we all got. There is Babala Hair. I totally butchered that the first time but this is what the box looks like hair we are babala i think that's super cute i like the packaging it did get a little crushed but it is from china so it took a second to get to the united states welcome to my cat she's just passing by don't mind her so the wig i got i was actually hoping um that it would arrive before i changed my hair um when i chose this wig i didn't think that i was going to be going blonde and I am a very like, like if I'm going to change my hair, it's spur of the moment and I really don't plan it very well. So I just decided I want to have blonde hair again for the summer. It just got warm out and I was over the jet black hair, you guys. Um, but this wig, it does have dark roots, which are black. And I, I thought, oh, I could mix my baby hairs in with this. Let me just show you the wig. You guys don't care, I know. So I'm opening up the box here. And the first thing I do see is the wig, but I want to show you that last because it's the most exciting part. Um, there is a little card in here that just says, have a great hair day. That's super cute. Um, you have like the sort of Chinese lamps here or something. What are those called? Those are cool. I, li I like that. Um, just so you guys know, fun fact, my favorite food of all time is Chinese food. Um, of course, it's American Chinese food, but I can't go wrong with some sweet and sour chicken, baby. Okay, this is actually really cool. They gave me, like, it looks like a wet brush, like the brand Wet Brush. I don't know. It looks really cool. It's got a bunch of bristles there. Um, it's nice and ergonomic to your hand. I think it's always cool when, when they go out of their way just to give you a little something. And I've never gotten a brush quite like this one. So I'm actually going to see how it works. And then I really appreciate when brands do this. They gave me um, two pieces of a wig cap. And I didn't know this came with it. But um, I do appreciate it because I need to put all this hair somewhere. Um, and that's really great for first time wig users as well. Now it's time for the big wig reveal. Here it is. It's still in the little netting. Let's put that to the side. I have a candle out here. I'm not trying to put anything on fire. So, ooh, I, I like the way this feels. It feels very, very silky. Let's see here. Um, so it came with a little wrapping inside. So here is what the wig looks like. This wig got me really excited because it has the black roots and I was thinking that I was gonna have my black roots and it was all gonna blend nice and easy if I wanna pull out my baby hairs on the side. Um, but that's okay because I love rocking wigs anyways, especially for my Instagram page is what I use it for because it goes really good with making makeup looks and getting me inspired and then I can use it for Halloween or just a Saturday going to Kroger, it doesn't matter. What I really like about this wig is that it is a lace front. So if you can see where my hand kind of is, there's like a few inches of lace there, which I'm actually going to cut because we are going to be putting this bad baby on today and I'm super excited about it. Um, actually, the hairline looks pretty decent. 
So since I am racing sunlight a little bit right now, I did just want to hurry up and off camera, um, take the lace off of the lace front. So here you can see I just quickly cut it. I want you guys to be able to see kind of what it looks like. Just be really careful. I just took some hair cutting scissors actually and went really closely to the hairline to make sure not to get off any actual strands of hair, but just the lace. I did get a couple pieces of hair, but it's not really that big of a deal, um, but it is good to get as close as possible so that your hair line will look as natural as possible. So I did go ahead and do that for you guys. So the wig is a little bit shiny, but that's not really something that ever was a big concern for me. Um, and nothing that a little dry shampoo can't fix, but I love, it looks like feels really soft and also this red reminds me of when I had red hair and I loved my red hair and I wish I could have it back, but it's just too much of a commitment and I don't think that I could ever actually do that again because it's so hard to get rid of. Um, and that's why you wear wigs and then you can have red hair whenever you want So that is what I kind of plan to do with this one so I can relive my red hair fantasy whenever I feel like it All right, so I just hurried up and I put the wig cap on that they gave me I just put it in two pigtails and then wrapped it kind of opposite each way on my head so that it will be as flat as possible um, like I said in my other wig video, I am not a pro. I don't really wear these out. This is more something I do for photography work and for aesthetic of my makeup page when it comes to my wigs. So you guys know, but it does look pretty flat and pretty good, not really bumpy. And I think it's because my hair straightened today, which really, really helps if you have a lot of hair like me is having your hair straightened, especially if you're gonna wear it out. It's just like a little pro tip, either straighten your hair to make it more flat or braid it is really the best way. So we're gonna go ahead and put this wig on together. What I do like about the wig is that there is in the construction of the cap two kind of metal um, sliders to go into your actual hair to help it stay in place when you're going to the club or whatever you're doing, your wig's gonna stay on. Um, another thing is in the back, there's actually some like almost like baby hair, like shorter hair, sort of the nape of the neck, which is interesting. Um, and then you can kind of adjust the clips in the back to either match up to each other or tighten it up towards the nape of the neck into these little loops here. So I'm gonna actually tighten them because my head is kind of small. I'm going to put them to the very middle one to sort of make it there and then I'm going to flip my hair while well, my head into the wig cap and let's see what it looks like. Whoa, this is giving me major flashbacks of like a year ago. Let's see here, I'm gonna put the combs in to help really secure this bad boy. Wow, it fits my head really good. I was not expecting it to be this snug, but feels pretty good. I like that. Whoa. So it kind of looks like it needs to be straightened and I did look everywhere on their website to see if it was heat resistant like my other wigs, which is something I always look for. I have a feeling that it's not though because I could not find anything about heat resistancy on these wigs and that was really kind of um, you know, hard to find. So, I mean, it's already straight, so it's fine. So I'm just gonna do like a little brush instead through. Um, and let's take my look at this. So I did just get a little shedding that I just picked up. That was just because I did cut some hairs off when I was cutting the lace. Um, but when I was brushing through it, really nothing was coming loose, so that's awesome. Um, and I love how snug it is on my head. There's kind of an up close of the hairline. Um, actually, it looks pretty decent. I will definitely be putting a little bit of concealer right into the part. And I will be right back after I do that because I want to make this as wearable as I can possibly make it. But this is freaking cute, you guys. Like, this is a really cute wig. Like, I am definitely reliving my red fantasy right now. All right, you guys, so I just put a little bit of concealer right into the part, and you can just see how much more natural that just made the top of the wig look. And then I just tucked it 
behind my ear to kind of give a little bit more of a vibe that it's actually growing out of my own head. But overall, you guys, I really, really do like this wig. I think that this is so fun. Um, and if you haven't heard of Babala hair, you can check them out. I don't have a code or anything. I'm not making money off of this video. Um, but I do love to help you guys, if you guys love wigs, to kind of find some cool places to find your synthetic wigs. Um, and this is really, really cute. I think the number one thing that I'm impressed with from this brand, more than just how cute the wig is itself, is the construction of the cap. I feel like it's made really well and I like that it fits my head really snug. I definitely have some other wigs that seem to not really lay this flat on my head. I mean, you really need it to really not be lifting or anything like that um, for it to look natural and lay against your head and look like it's growing out of your head. So even though I like synthetic wigs, I really do go for as natural as possible. And I really, really think that they did a really good job with that. And I really like this wig. So I will leave the, um, wig that I got in a link below so that you guys can check it out as well um, in case if you're interested but I just want to get this video up and say hi to you guys I know it's been so long and I really really appreciate you guys watching this video as always I hope you enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed making it for you um, don't forget to subscribe to see more hit the notification bell because you, you know all the algorithms are really messed up So if you want to keep updated on all my uploads, you know, what to do, girl So I will see you in the next video until then Peace out